A man dressed as a biker walked into Austin Tricyclist on Barton Springs Road Sunday afternoon. He did seem like someone who rides bikes very, very often um, and, and had some kind of knowledge about what bikes are good for what and, and kind of knew what he was looking for. He had his eyes on a rare $5,200 gravel bike. The manager says they only received three this year. This year only uh, and only made like this kind of bike. And so we'll not see any more of these beyond what we got this year. Witzel says his employee took the customer upstairs, talked about the bike for a bit. Then he wanted to take it for a test ride. It's very common for us to let someone test ride a bike, even on the nicest ones, because you have to know how it feels. He says usually they require the customer to give them an ID and credit card before hopping on the bike. He was the one who offered the wallet. We weren't the ones who asked. So it was a real quick just here you go and out the door kind of thing. The contents and the wallet he gave them was fake. When we realized he was gone, it was too late. The wallet was a credit card cut in half with the top sticking up and I, I think that was about it. Witzel says the man in the blue shirt is the one who took off with their bike and they want it back. If the guy could just come back and pay full sticker price, that would be great. <laughs> um, but yes, we would love to have the bike back um, and be able to get it to someone who really is going to ride it and enjoy it. Witzel says he's filed a police report adding to the rising statistic of thefts from buildings. Awesome PD reports they're up by 165% from last year. It makes me feel a little less trustworthy of that random person coming in, but in general it doesn't uh, deter me from being excited about bikes and, and getting new people on bikes.